Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, to answer a question about anything new that could arrive on Windows 10, how would it be delivered? Um, and of course we talk about 22H2, which is something that happens on Windows 10 also. But since we don't have anything being tested, it's safe to say that it won't bring much, if anything at all, in improvements or changes in the uh, next version of Windows 10 this fall. But there is one place that you keep your interest open, and it's the Microsoft Store. And the reason why a lot of the apps that might get more modern looks and changes, this is where they'll come from. They'll be the ones coming through the Microsoft Store, including updates to the Microsoft Store itself. So I think this is not a bad idea to um, open the store, go into the library, and here um, just you know get updates or check updates regularly, as apps will definitely be updated regularly. So see here, Microsoft Photos is updated. Um, what else? We have movies and TV, of course. Uh, Skype. What's what would be interesting here? Um, so there's, you know, different things that will show up. The Windows Media Player uh, is one example here. So depending on what you use on your PC, you might find that there are some interesting changes in the core apps of your computer. For PhoneLink, for example, which is also an updated now. It's called PhoneLink. It's what links your phone and your PC together. So PhoneLink is another um, great app that if you have an Android phone, especially a Samsung phone, but depending on the phone you have, you'll have some uh, interesting stuff in here. But all of this is actually done the, uh, to the, um, um, you know, through the Microsoft Store. So anything that you'll want to have as updates for apps is going to be arriving from here. Um, you know, anything snip and sketch and even the, uh, the uh, WordPad or... Uh, stuff like that, everything is going to be in there. And so those would be the changes that you would see. Those would bring improvements to different apps that Microsoft has on Windows 10. But don't expect changes to, you know, the UI, changes to the menus to start the settings. And honestly, people are happy like that. They don't want to have changes. You're happy. It works great. It does what you want. You know, I think, I'll repeat it again, I always say, you know, sometimes boring is okay. And maybe that's where Windows 10 is okay. It's no more big fancy break Windows type updates. Just, you know, the standard patches for security and whatever will be new will come through the Microsoft Store, obviously. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.